What is up guys, Veos here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the Xylent Reborn drop screech, uh, and yeah, here's what I remade. Okay, and when it goes lower... Uh, yeah, so pretty cool sound, and let's get right into it. So basically, load up a brand new massive, um, and yeah, click file new sound basically. And oscillator 1 is going to be sine triangle, so wave tool position completely to the right, and pitch is at negative 12. Okay, so then turn on the modulation oscillator, and pitch is at 31 on here. And yeah, basically click 1 here beside phase, and the phase position is at 35 here. Okay, uh, next thing I have a B tube, Bronner tube, uh, dry wet is at 70, drive is at 73. Perfect, and then Dimension Expander is on as well, so 14 for Dry Wet, and then Size is at 6. Okay, on the uh, EQ I have a Low Shelf here, 78 for the Low Shelf, and then High Shelf is at 57. Okay, the way this is actually being modulated is, um, I have two macros onto the pitch of the modulation oscillator, and I'm kind of messing with those. Uh, so yeah, basically I'll just remove what I have right now in terms of automation. And yeah, let's uh, basically call one of these pitch, the other one oct, or whatever you want, octave. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to tweak this pitch knob and basically right click it to create automation like that. So since this is the pitch, you know, pitch uh, macro, I'm just going to have it go uh, down a few semitones and then back up. Just like that. And then this octave, you just tweak it again, and then tools last tweak to create automation like that. And yeah, basically what you're going to want to do is leave it up, uh, oops, leave it up like that, just for as long as you want it uh, high. <coughs> okay, and then when you want it to go back down, um, just, yeah, basically trace it so that it's at 0% instead of 100. Okay, so yeah, it's a very simple sound actually. And I have a few effects on there. You can do whatever you want. Um, but here's what I got. Uh, so sound goodizer is on there. This is just multi-man compression. And at the end of the day, I was lazy. Okay. And then I got a parametric EQ. Um, so I'm high passing it because I have another sub layered on there. And then right here, I have a low pa low shelf. Yeah. And it's just boosting that part in the middle that I find is very present in the original song. <laughs> this could also be a layer though of like another synth, but I'm not sure so yeah, whatever just leave it like that uh, I did reduce the mid and upper mid. I find those uh, Frequencies to be a little bit harsh uh, in this specific sound and I also boosted the high end up there Because it, it just sounds good in general when you do that uh, So yeah, anyways, uh, that is uh, simple I guess hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did please be sure to smack that like button and hit that subscribe so yeah, uh, I'll be tweeting a little bit after, I guess. So if you want to follow my Twitter, that's cool as well. Hopefully you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next stream or video. Take care guys. Peace.